other lessons, I mean, you, you basically, one of the things that you've taken and changed in your life, you, you sort of listen to your heart more um, these days. Were the other sort of key things that you took from that experience that you sort of take with you uh, these days? Yeah, but I mean, look, I think it's so important that when you, when you put your focus and your energy, but it's got to be aligned with your medium and long-term vision, right? And don't create, don't create the vision based on what you think other people want your vision to be. And that was always my problem for a long, long time, Craig. I'm known in my group as the people pleaser. I'm the yes man, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the guy that will make everybody happy, will you know, move around, come to an event even when it doesn't suit me just because I want other people to be happy, right? <clears throat> so I guess the big, the, that, that big lesson for me is what, is what is my vision, what is right for me? And to be able to say no, but it's okay. It's yeah, okay. Yes. People aren't going to be that offended if you say no to them. And, and that is still, you know, in the developmental stage for me because, you know, for so long, I was always the one saying yes. So, yeah, that, that was a valuable lesson for me, you know. And does it suit me? And, and sometimes that, you know, people are like, oh, but that's selfish. But I think in life you have to be selfish, bud. Because if you're not selfish and you're not happy, then how can you be in the right space to then – you know, make someone else feel good. So, um, yeah. yeah, that's my thing. But I think it's all about now being the best version of me, making me happy so that you know, the energy I portray and can give is one based out of love because I'm loving me and I'm loving myself and I'm loving my space. Therefore, it's easy to share that love with you rather than having this inner turmoil on the inside and pretending to love you or, or be interested or do something for you. 100%. Yeah. 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 That's so important, but I think, I think people get confused when people, when other people say, Oh, you've got to love yourself first and, and all these sort of things. But, but you actually really do, because like you said, if you don't love yourself, how are you honestly opening up yourself to others and, and giving them your true self and, and loving them like uh, as much as you possibly can when you're just like not happy inside? Um, it's such an important thing. Just take care of yourself first, seriously. And then, and then you're ready for everybody else. Yeah, for sure. Otherwise it's just a facade, Gareth. And I've lived many facades, brother, many, you know, I'm, I'm very good at putting on a character for people, right? Mm -hmm. but, you know, when, when during that stage, especially, but I just had zero interest in the conversations I was having. That's why I wasn't retaining anything because I was had mm -hmm. this battle of the mind in my own head. So I was there physically, but not spiritually. And for me, I really want to be, I want to be there spiritually, but and connect properly with people. So the big thing for me last year actually was trying to take a break from putting energy into, into, into relationships, right? So it was all about being present and doing what's right for me and taking each experience with every group that I was in without, you know, getting excited about a girl and then developing, trying to develop a relationship and then getting distracted and then doing it again. It was like, right, Ryan, no serious girlfriends, no like too much time and attention on one specific person. It's about you. Be in the moment, be present, be a good person. And that really helped me a lot. But in that full year of cycle, I suddenly came into this year being like, I think I'm now like, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm open. And I have a much better understanding and awareness of, you know, the decisions that I'm making. And that's been great. Yeah. Craig, you're talking, about, you're talking about lessons. The other lesson I think is this, and I think this is important for a lot of people out there, right? We live in a society where it's almost like chronological. You need to do school at this age. You need to be working on your career and meet your spouse at this age. You need to be having kids by 30. You need to be living in a great big house and you know, accumulate all this bullshit, right? And something that I've realized, and especially during that stage, was it's okay to reset. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But at any age, if you are not happy with your circumstance and you can be 60 years old, 38 years old, 30 years old, but press the reset button. It's yeah. okay. You want to let go of everything, start a new career, go back to school. Dude, there is nothing stopping you from doing that today so that the rest of your life going forward is really where you want to be, right? And I hit a little bit of a wobbly probably you know, a couple of months ago. I suddenly like, I'm about to turn 38. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I've had all these amazing experiences, but really, what do I have like to show for it? You know, and I was like, oh my God, and some of my friends you know, are doing so well. And I was like, dude, it's okay. It's okay. Calm the fuck down. Right? <laughs> and, and I'm playing this game now, which is like, I'm 18 again. 
<laughs> like being 18 again. 20 years ago, I was 18. I was this young buck going to Stellenbosch University for the first time. Dude, I'm 38 now. I'm a young buck, still full of vibration and energy, but, and I can do anything I want for the rest of my life. I love it. And, and shit, but that is so liberating. It yeah. doesn't matter, mate. And stop worrying about what other people <laughs> think of you. Fuck it, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't yeah. matter. But what do you think it's, about? That's important. So I love it, man. So powerful. You know, it's awesome, but it's a whole adventure, but and, and if we could just take more adventure out of every day and say, you know what? Cool. That's where I want to go. Change, pivot, and go for it, bud. Go for it. You know it. If it doesn't happen for you in this life, it'll happen in the next life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's time, bud, because our spirits are transport. They will continue, bud. Right? This is not the end. <laughs> Physical body we're in right now, it's an experience, bud. So yeah. talking about some of skills, like the, there's obviously a massive uh, uh, skill set and a lot of science and, and psychology uh, uh, behind sales. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the art and science of, of sales. Uh, sales? As you said. Yeah. <laughs> Firstly, I love sales. Sales is the <laughs> <most> amazing thing. <laughs> and I always tell my staff, you know, they're like, oh, you know, I didn't realize I was going to have to sell. And I was like, buddy, you've been selling since you were three years old. <laughs> when you went to the store and you asked your mother if you could have a sweet and she said no you were a poor salesman <laughs> you didn't get what you wanted right then slowly you figure these out and you realize that your parents have little buttons you can push and ways of saying things to get what you want what do you think that is mate that's an exchange right so sales for me is all about exchange and it's an exchange of energy and this is something that i bring into my training a lot right so yes it's psychology it's understanding uh, a certain personality trap and you know, are you analytical? Are you more emotional? Uh, what kind of triggers can I press or identify in you when I'm sitting face to face with you, right? But really, it's all about energy because sales is a human to human interaction, right? You've got something that you want. I hope you have that thing that you want and I'm going to exchange that maybe for money or maybe for service or whatever it is, but it's an exchange. And one of the things I try to get my staff to understand is that money is really energy right? So it has an energy. We think about it. We, you know, we worship it. We exchange it all the time. And all you're doing is you're changing the energy, right? So you want to get money from a guest, but what are you going to give in return? And our therapists and, you know, most people out there either have a good service or they have an amazing product to exchange for that money. So yeah, sales is all about that. It's learning how to bring that exchange in a natural way by listening, identifying, really getting inside of your head so I know what it is you want. Because if I'm trying to sell you something that you don't want, it's going to come mm. across as pushy or you're just going to walk away from the whole situation, right? But if I know what you want and I can figure that out, then hopefully, you know, if we're in the right space, I've got that, I've got that thing that will give you the results that you want. And, uh, and it's exciting, but because it's like a little challenge, right? Every, every human being is like a little puzzle piece. It's like a Rubik's cube. <laughs> you've got to figure out what makes them tick what are their interests what do they like what don't they like you know what should i be saying or doing or you know it goes as far as body language you know the nlp gareth that we, yeah. that we speak about is all about body language but you know it's like people like people who like themselves so <laughs> if, you sit, if you sit opposite me and you've got a big smile on your face and i'm sitting there grumpy pants clearly we're not going to connect right yeah so yeah. you know simply open my eyes a bit put a big smile on my face and right away you're thinking shit this guy's quite cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Um, yeah, yeah but there's, there's a lot to it. You know, there's a lot of nuances when it comes to sales, and there's a lot of things you've got to think about. And if you do it repeatedly enough times, then you become good at it because you learn how to move naturally and identify things without overthinking it. And you can just dance with them rather than fight them. Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy Cape Fold, my 